Hello folks, this is Ayatana Jha from InspiredWise.com and today we are going to talk about Xiaomi's new smartphone, Pocophone F1. So guys, Poco is a new sub-brand of Xiaomi. Let's first start with the unboxing. This is the Kevlar edition of this smartphone. Inside the box, you get the smartphone itself. You get the soft cover for this one, TPU cover, USB Type-C cable, and the fast charger for this smartphone, but no earphones on the inside. If we talk about the build and design, this smartphone comes in different variants. The Kevlar one feels really good. On the normal ones, on the right hand side, you get the power button and the volume rocker. At the top, you get the 3.5mm jack. At the bottom, there's the Type-C port along with the speaker grill and it has got quite an industrial design. On the left hand side, there's the hybrid SIM tray slot and this one supports expandable storage up to 256GB. At the back, there's the dual camera module, 12MP Sony sensor, 5MP Samsung sensor and then there's also the fingerprint sensor along with the POCO branding at the bottom. If you look at the front, there's the 6.18 inch Full HD Plus display with Corning Gorilla Glass protection and 500 nits of brightness. The display looks quite good and at the top there's the notch which houses the 20 megapixel front camera along with the infrared face unlock sensor. One of the cons of this phone is the fact that it's got a big chin. Big means huge chin. And it comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chipset, 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM, 64 GB, 128 GB, or 256 gigabytes of storage. 52 GB storage is what you get free on the 64 GB variant. There's no NFC, but if you talk about the sensors, it comes with almost all of the sensors required for a great performance. If I talk about the benchmarks, it scored quite good on the Antutu benchmark, 2 lakh plus score. Similarly on the Geekbench also it scored quite good and heavy duty performance is easily done by this phone. If I talk about the camera quality, the back camera is quite good and I felt that the camera UI is also good. It's similar to the MIUI camera application and if we talk about few other things, the camera processing looks quite different from normal MIUI based smartphones and this smartphone supports 4K video recording on the back camera and 1080p video recording on the front camera. There's also an option for enhanced codec like H.265 for lower file sizes and there's also support for EIS on both 4K and Full HD videos. So that's quite good. If I talk about the images, the sharpness in them the dynamic range and every other thing looked quite good but sometimes the images felt a little bit oversaturated overall i feel that this is a great camera smartphone for the price and it almost kills the competition in every way possible if i talk about the video quality the 4k video was quite good had a lot of dynamic range and even the eis felt on point to me at some points there were some banding issues etc present in the video when light source changed but other than that it was quite good the front camera also has quite a lot of detail and you can see all of the pimples on my forehead in this video so i feel that they have have done quite a good job with the cameras of the smartphone. If you talk about gaming and heating performance, this smartphone comes with the best chipset in town right now and you can play almost any game on this one with ease. I tried playing PUBG on highest possible settings, it was quite good. So as you know, we all love PUBG and I played PUBG a lot on this smartphone and what I found in my 20 to 25 minutes of gameplay duration was that this smartphone is able to run PUBG at highest possible settings without any lag whatsoever and I felt that the gameplay was quite smooth. POCO F1 comes with liquid cool technology which means that it won't overheat under sustained load conditions. We tested this out in order to be sure you can never trust a company blindly and in order to be sure we tested this out and we found that the this smartphone does not heat up considerably when under heavy loads. That's quite good. It comes with stereo speaker setup. In the front, there's very good speaker setup. And now let's test it. So the audio was loud, crisp and clear and the stereo speaker setup does its job and that's I think the perfect way to use a notch by including a stereo speaker setup. Now let's talk more about the smartphone. It comes with a 4000 mAh battery and the quick charge 3.0 enabled charger is included inside the box for the smartphone. So that's something appreciable that they are not going 
the route that other brands take. The smartphone supports dual volte 4G plus and at the launch event these guys tried to do a small comparison speed test against the iPhone 10 but the lead that they got was just of milliseconds and that's really not that much. And if I talk about the software experience and updates, this smartphone comes with a different version of MIUI as opposed to normal MIUI. So it comes with a Poco launcher and you can install icon packs, third party creations, all of those are supported on the smartphone. MIUI for Poco would get the Android Pre update in quarter 4 of 2018. Let's see if they stick to that date or not and the kernel would be open source and available soon enough. Other than that, custom ROMs can be easily installed on the smartphone and I felt that the ROM is quite good and refined. It feels like an even lighter version of MIUI. The Poco F1 launcher would also be available on Google Play from 29th of August. Make in India is done for the smartphone and let's be honest, we don't know that for sure. Fingerprint sensor positioning is really bad for the smartphone. I felt during my usage period that this smartphone's fingerprint sensor positioning is something which is one of the biggest cons for this phone and could definitely have been improved. The fingerprint sensor itself is fast but the positioning could have been a lot better. Face unlock on this smartphone is quite fast and it worked almost every time I used it. The Poco F1 would start from a price of 20,999 rupees in India for the 6GB RAM 64GB storage variant goes all the way up to 2999 for the Kevlar storage variant and right now for the first sale you would get chance to buy the smartphone for just rupees 20k for the 6GB RAM variant and then I feel that there are a lot of other offers also like the Geo offer you get 6 terabytes of high speed data and then overall there are also a lot of other options like you can buy the ultra slim case you can buy the armored case for the smartphone and all of these are cheaper than their oneplus counterparts there are also poco official skins available for 300 rupees and the sale would start from 29th of august 2018 12 pm these are all of the units in one frame and you can see all of the color variants different color variants and the kevlar unit also the kevlar edition with uhs 2.1 storage 256 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes of ram is available just for 30k that almost kills all of the competition out there for this device and it's quite great in a lot of ways but there are few cons for the smartphone for example the availability service centers and all of these things that would determine whether the smartphone would be worth buying in the long run for now right now on the paper it looks quite good the specifications camera everything looks really good but its availability and the ability to buy it when you really want to that would determine whether it's a great smartphone or not so guys this was it for this video in case you like this one don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and do subscribe to inspire to rise for more awesome tech videos like this one and guys no matter what you do stay inspired to rise